how to use RSP VFI. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use RSP VFI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on RSP VFI, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is RSP VFI, it is a comprehensive online event management platform that simplifies the process of creating and managing events, in which it allows users to design fully customizable RSPP and event registration forms, making it suitable for various occasions including corporate events, weddings, and fundraisers. And also the platform features a user-friendly event website builder that enables hosts to create tailored features and event pages with options for multi-part events, custom question, and ticket sales. And now to create an account on RSP VFI, you could also click the link in the description or alternatively, you could also start clicking sign up free button on the top right corner to proceed. And which upon clicking on it, you'll now be able to be directed on this page right here. And now from here under event name, just simply enter a descriptive of your event or the name of your event in here. And after that, just click continue to next step. So as you can see, I just enter my wedding and after that under event details, you simply fill out the required information including the event start and also the time of it and select the time zone that you prefer below here. Then click the next button to proceed to the location or you could also skip for now if you want to in here by clicking this button. Now after that from here you simply customize your RSPVPI event URL in here and click next pick a team to proceed in which the next thing that you need to do is to simply choose a team in here with its given choices that is offered for free on this platform. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. So kind of click the select button to proceed in here. And after that, you simply sign up for RSP VPI by entering here your full name, your email address, and also creating your own password. Or alternatively, you could also start signing up using the Google account below here or using the other methods that are available on this page. And after signing up, using Google account, you will now be able to see that your event in RSPV5 is now being created. So all you need to do is wait for it to be fully loaded in here. And after that, you will now be able to successfully be directed on this dashboard of RSPV5, in which you can start navigating on the left side panel some of the option, but under this event checklist, it will show you that you can start customizing the event website. And in order to do that, can click on it in which upon clicking on it will automatically be directed on this page and it will show us on the left side panel in here the editing tools that we can start navigating such as to add a block in here and by simply clicking any kind of elements in here that we can start customizing for example we have here this image by clicking the settings icon on the left side panel you can also start adding an image from your computer files or change the image format in here cover and zoom scale down and many more and you could also customize the title for instance, it says here, my wedding for the title, but I'm going to enter here, our vows. And after that, you could also start changing or customizing the subtitle below here, the text color, the title font, title size, subtitle font, and many more. And after that, just simply click the save button in order to save the changes that we just made. And it will show you that the changes has now been added or updated in here. You could also start navigating here, this love story. By clicking again the settings icon in which on the left side panel and start customizing the context in here. You could also add a text, image, video depending on your preferences. If you're this image, map, video, that we could also click this plus button to add a block. Now moving on from here you can start scrolling down to find other elements or contents in here and by clicking the settings option or icon of each element it will show you on the left side panel the editing tools that we could also start navigating and customize. And as you can see from here, we can start customizing the schedule of events, such as the title of it, the events, give your welcome party, the ceremony and reception, goodbye brunch, and many more. And we can also navigate here some of the options including this speaker's sponsor and gift registry by clicking this button right here. Or we could also find it on this page by scrolling down with here this our registry. So by clicking again the settings icon, on the left side panel, we can start adding here or customizing the title and also adding a store by clicking this add store. 
then just simply enter here the store name and also the registry URL below here. So we have here the options such as for example Target, Amazon, but as you can see I just enter Alibaba in here. So you can basically add here a store depending on your preferences. Now moving on, we also have here different kind of elements and content of this wedding website in here. So basically it is easily to navigate and start customizing any content of this website. It is so easy to edit or even to update this website theme by simply choosing here on the left side panel the editing tools that you prefer. You'd also navigate here to choose into mobile view to see what it looks like when a person try to browse our website using their mobile phone. Now moving on on the left side panel, we could also navigate here this form builder in which under customize option by clicking this form builder option on the left side panel will automatically be directed on this page and we can also start customizing this form such as the field of question in here to add including under this meal preferences another type of question that is related to our event or wedding and after that you could also add your own logo in here depending on your preferences you can upload from your computer files or choose under stock image library in here now moving on aside from that you'd also start changing it the confirmation screen or add a secondary event in here if you want to custom a question and many more but some of these are needed to have an upgrade account or premium account in order to navigate it such as for example this cash donation or gift by simply clicking on it all you need to do on this page right here is to simply fill out the record information including to enter a question in here add a description or ask a question once per group to each attendee or even choose additional criteria in here then just click the save button in order to start adding the cash donation or gift question in here moving on you can also navigate on the left side panel this event settings by clicking on it you will be able to be directed on this page where you can start navigating the event details rspp option payment and coupons email confirmation and many more and aside from that on the website panel you could also navigating the dashboard including the reporting such as the overview secondary event custom question and many more now under organize section from here you could also start navigating this email communications such as to start sending an email or creating our own email to send as our invites to our guests so from here you can basically see here that you can start customizing by clicking any of this text that you want to customize depending on your preferences and even choose the background color of this email the email body background and many more well on the left side panel you could also navigate here this invite list and click invitees or we could also add or invite here a guest to attend in our event by simply importing the list or manual adding in here and if you also want to publish it now just click this publish button however you also need to have an upgrade account or premium account in order to do it and by clicking the share and invite button right here you would also start sharing or copying the link send email invitation embed a form or using the qr code to share this event that you create on rsbvpi but overall, that is just basically how you can use RSVBPI. Thank you.